Welcome to A State of Sight. I'm Isaac Porter, and this is your update in ophthalmology and eye care. And in this episode, I would like to talk about two dangerous trends that have been publicized recently in the media. One is eyeball licking, and the second is vodka eyeballing. Now, these reports in the last week or two coming out of Japan have shown that there's been an increase in infections in and around the eye, including conjunctivitis and styes, where school children have been licking each other's eyeballs as a way to show affection. Now, this has probably been around looking at the reports since maybe the 2000s, but we know that the bacteria that live in and around the mouth are very different from the natural bacteria that live in and around the eye. And therefore, when people do this, it can transmit disease or conjunctivitis and can be very dangerous to the eye. So, of course, we wouldn't recommend it, and if you have any questions about this, uh, please post. We'll be happy to answer them. The only thing that I can think of, since I've never heard of this before until recently, is that there are some cultures where people will lick their eyeballs of someone who has an infection. We may see this with mothers if their child has a conjunctivitis as a way that they think they can help uh, remove the disease. But other than that, this is news to me. The second problem, I remember back since about 2010 called vodka eyeballing and some of our staff just recently heard about it. That's what made us um, think to cover it. But this is where people will take vodka and either pour it or expose it directly to their eye because the rumor is that you can get drunk more quickly by doing it. Of course, uh, this is not true since the eye can only absorb a very small amount of fluid and it's very dangerous because the alcohol can hurt the surface of the eye, particularly the epithelium or the thin skin that covers over the cornea. Now this is a little bit similar to the way that we use alcohol when we perform LASIK, that's L-A-S-E-K, which is different from standard LASIK. In LASIK, we put alcohol on the cornea to loosen that epithelium and remove it intentionally in a organized manner so that way we can replace it when we finish. This is a procedure similar to PRK where we use the laser to change the shape of the cornea but by replacing the epithelium we think that sometimes it could help it heal more quickly and be less painful for people. This technique was originally publicized by one of my mentors Dr. Dimitri Azar but recently it's been used less and other things like PRK or maybe epilasic have been used more commonly. So if you have any questions about either of these two dangerous trends, which you know both have been um, publicly commented on and uh, turned down by the American Academy of Ophthalmology so everyone can know that these are uh, dangerous. So please post if you have any questions. We'll be happy to answer them. And until next time, good health and good sight.